The cost of living crisis is something that's affecting us all right now. It could be the rising cost of fuel, energy prices, or even food. It could also be the impact of recent interest rate rises on mortgages and rent that's impacting on you. It's perfectly natural to have feelings of worry and anxiousness at times of uncertainty, but it's important that we take steps to manage this and make sure it doesn't get out of control and consume us. So in this video, I'll be sharing some top tips on how you can manage your emotional and financial well-being. Firstly, it's really important to talk to somebody. As they say, a problem shared is a problem halved. And starting to talk about our financial situation can help us to rationalize it and to take some of the stigma away. So it doesn't matter if you speak to a trusted friend or a financial wellness expert, ultimately speaking to somebody is a really important step. It's worth also checking if there's any support or benefits that you might be entitled to. So why not speak to the Citizens Advice Bureau or the Money and Pension Service, both of whom are best placed to help you identify what support might be available. It's really important to reach out and speak to your creditors. You're not the only person that is struggling at the moment. And so many organizations have set up specialist teams to help people who are struggling to pay their bills. Ultimately, speak to them, share your individual circumstances, and I'm sure they'll help you find a way forward. Most of the anxiety and worry when dealing with our finances comes from a loss of control. So it's really important that we take action to get control of our finances. Start off by creating a monthly budget. Focus on prioritizing those key bills that you have to pay each month, such as your mortgage, your rent, or utility bills. And then you can start to see areas of least important spending where you may be able to make cutbacks and actually reduce monthly outgoings. Then once you've done this, speak to your creditors. You may be able to reduce your payments each month. You may also be able to change tariffs for things like drawband or mobile phones that ultimately reduce month on month expenditure. Finally, don't bury your head in the sand. It's really important to remember that things will not change if you do not take control. But if you're struggling emotionally, dealing with debt, then you can contact the Retail Trust, speak to one of our counselling team or one of our debt advisors, and you may also be able to apply for a non-repayable grant. 